Hello guys and welcome to another gameplay video and in today's video I'll be showcasing one of the strongest builds in the game right now which is the type 25 hipfire build you saw in the start and I know I'm late in showcasing this build I should have posted it in the start of the season but still surprisingly not many people know about it and how broken it is believe it or not even though this gun is an assault rifle it still competes with the Fennec the best SMG in the game right now so first of all we'll compare this type 25 build with the best Fennec build that I shared in a previous video and we'll see if the type 25 can beat it or not and after that we'll jump into an amazing and tense gameplay that shows the real power of this build if you're here for the gameplay then skip to the time shown on the screen before we start i have to mention that this build is mainly for hip fire at close range within 20 meters but you can still use it up to 40 meters with ads because it's easier to control compared to the fennec so the test is against an enemy with 300 hp at 10 meters range let's start with the fire rate the fennec obviously wins here since it has the fastest fire rate in the game with 1140 rounds per minute as for the type 25 it has a fire rate of exactly 900 rounds per minute which is insane for an assault rifle moving on to the damage test at 10 meters range and starting with the chest the fennec deals 25 damage and kills within 578 milliseconds as for the type 25 it deals 30 damage killing the enemy within 600 milliseconds so notice that the fennec wins by a tiny difference of 22 milliseconds which is nothing and you won't even notice it then i decided to test the damage to the arms and legs and this is where things got very interesting so the fennec deals 18 damage to the arms and legs which means it can kill within 842 milliseconds as for the type 25 the damage drops by two only so it deals 28 damage to the arms and legs which means it can kill within 666 milliseconds and that's crazy because we're talking about 176 milliseconds difference so i believe both guns have a fast killing time but i think the type 25 is better overall for two reasons First of all, because of the high damage difference dealt to the arms and legs. And second of all, because it's an assault rifle, it can deal more damage at longer ranges beyond 10 meters. And together, these two reasons will give you more chances in having faster killing time. Moving on to the hipfire accuracy test, you can tell that the Fennec has slightly smaller crosshairs, which means it has better hipfire accuracy. And another thing that makes the Fennec better is the mobility. Your movement speed will be faster compared to the Type 25, which is very important at close range, as it allows you to strafe and dodge bullets more efficiently, especially against shotgun users. So to sum it up for you, the Type 25 has more chances in giving you faster killing time, and it has longer range. As for the Fennec, it has slightly better hipfire accuracy and high mobility and now the choice is yours personally i love both guns and i keep switching between them as for the mods first of all an extender mod followed by hip fire mod and finally a long range mod and i'm sure many of you are wondering why i didn't use a monolithic suppressor in this build and that's because i use this gun within 20 meters range and the monolithic suppressor doesn't have any effect at that range now that we're done with the comparison let's move on to the gameplay and we'll see how fast this gun can melt enemies so we landed on construction site and I was expecting a lot of squads here but we only got one squad which is fine as long as we get some good early action to warm up Enemy down.
I tried to avoid using the echo in that fight. I just hate this gun, whether I'm the one using it or if it's being used against me. But that guy had like 1000 HP and he refused to go down. So I was forced to use it to finish him off. Next, we headed towards the upgrade terminal. Upgrading pump class is important as it allows you to jump higher and more frequently. And after that, we went for the loadout airdrop and that's where we went against the second squad. It might be bots. It's not a team. Down. The airdrop is coming. Help to return to the battle. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Airdrop has been delivered. Dog tags have been scanned successfully. Your teammate will return to the battle when the next revive flight arrives. I have no idea what number 3 was doing here, but he got clapped and we went to save him. So we got his tag and then we took high ground to gain a bit of an advantage. We can land here. One thing to keep in mind regarding this build, if you're using two assault rifles like me, then make sure you loot heavy ammo at all times, otherwise you will keep running out. Your job is coming. Fuck, fuck. The enemy. Enemy down. You can see how fast this build shreds the enemy. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to worry about aiming to the chest. Obviously the chest and the head will give you faster killing time, but targeting other body parts would still kill them fast. Moving on to the final stages of the game, we went against a full squad and they managed to destroy our helicopter. But it was a perfect location to fight on the roof of Asylum, as we had a lot of cover to play around. Coming. They're okay. Supply box here. No, 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 I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you like this build and if you did then consider leaving a like. Personally I think it's completely broken and I still have no idea why nobody is using it. But I expect it to be nerfed soon especially that this gun is also broken in multiplayer mode. So use it while you can. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.